We've established uh, a number of different hearing mechanisms of various fish, and as I continue to mention, when you talk about fish, you're, it's a fairly broad brush stroke. Um, there are some fish that don't have swim bladders, there's some fish that don't have lateral lines, there's some fish that don't have semicircular canals. Um, so these are all just kind of general generalities. One uh, can look at the environment that fish are in and determine a lot about its hearing uh, morphology. For example, animals or fish that live in turbid, dark, murky environments, like carp for example, have fairly developed hearing systems. They're called uh, hearing specialists. Animals that um, are in uh, sedentary environments that rely on disguise, such as the, uh, the flounder or the halibut, have fairly rudimentary hearing systems because they don't really need to hear, they just need to kind of sense what's near them. Uh, in fact, if we look at the halibut, it has little neural masts kind of distributed on its body that allows it to tell when prey is nearby and uh, to a lesser degree because I say it's a disguised fish it doesn't really need to, to be warned of predators as much. Um, some fish see at night through sound. Some fish that don't make any noise themselves rely on the background noise of their environment to actually perceive it. Uh, there's no lack of noise in the ocean, uh, particularly in shallow waters where you find a lot of fish. There are snapping shrimp and they create a broadband hissing sound, which you probably are familiar with if you stuck your head under water in the ocean. It sounds like sand moving around, and those are all little shrimp snapping their claws. And they have to hear as well. So um, we have all these different critters in the ocean with their different adaptations to hearing, and uh, it's um, of interest to us not only in terms of just the biology of that, or the morphology of hearing, but also because as we increase our noise impacts on the ocean, we want to make sure that that impact does not compromise the hearing habitats of these various animals.